Hello everybody and welcome to the Brotherhood events. This is a Talonites versus Light Sworn. So as you can see Talonites are going first with the Pot of Duality, with the uh, Sword Charge. Yes, that, that is a interesting play. So, unfortunately we can't stream at this event because the firewall is blocking us from doing anything, unfortunately. So um, it's, it's a bit of an annoyance, but it's one that we just have to make do with um, and then we can just get on with it so that is basically it unfortunately so as he summons he takes a thousand damage there the light swarm player um, that is that is just the effect of the nether there so we are yeah as you can see just playing different cards so it's 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 uh, it's a different different deck to be uh, playing against um, the player with light swarms is certainly going to be interesting um, so as you can see here, we're just doing all the all the searching for uh, Altair there. Altair is one of the um, <clears throat> one of the main cards that people use. So it is certainly an interesting deck. So we've got a Raiden activating her. So milling our wolf. That's a quite a nice mill there. Um, so he can go for a synchro play if he so wishes, um, which he is doing. So there are a couple of options he could go into. Um, there are, you know, oh he's overlaying. So overlaying for the uh, lava chain, that's certainly an interesting choice there. Get with the Raiden, and there is the Alpha. So you, tri you basically tribute one to um, to negate the effect of that monster. So and then you draw. So yeah, he didn't have anything there. He probably didn't know what he did, unfortunately. So um, that's that's just all what you can do. So we got an MST into the back row. So he's chaining the above for the Lila, the Honest, the oh he's playing. Uh, he is playing the dragon variants, so the chaos light swarms. Um, I do have the deck list here, um, so it's certainly an interesting one to uh, to go up against. Um, I am multitasking here, so unfortunately, <laughs> I might be slightly behind some, um, but hopefully, I'm not. I don't want to be behind as much as possible. Um, so let's throw on. There. So the Talonites here are absolutely swarming. Um, and it's it's quite quite nice. So he's gone into uh, he's gone into Rhapsody, who is going to banish um, two targets. So just just for the fear of the actual um, the fear of the Judgment Dragon there. Um, so that is that is quite nice. So the player in the Light Swarm player does have some outs, um, some quite nice outs there as well, um, which we shall certainly see soon. Um, and unfortunately, my laptop is just frozen. Fear not, I'm not using that. So he's gone for the Lila and the Riker. The Riker will attack, and then uh, the Lila will possibly. Oh, the Lila gets banished, so there is no damage there. Um, so that is quite nice. Um, and it's just just one of those things that happens, unfortunately. So we got an Altair that's coming out, and then to Deb there, which is going to search. So that's a quite useful thing there. So he's searching for the one that does the <coughs> burn damage. Um, because it's it, that card does actually get quite painful at times because I've seen some people who only run um, only run the one, um, but it seems that this this player Anthony is actually playing more than one. So um, yeah, so that's that's what's going to happen there. So for this event today, we have 140, uh, 153 players. So it's a very big event. Um, and a really, really nice total um, that I, I, I do like. Um, it's it's just, just something that we've kind of all been a bit, um, a bit shocked by. We didn't expect that many. And Castell comes out, which returns it to the deck, which is quite nice there. Oh, and he's just accidentally flipped some cards, <laughs> um, which unfortunately can't be, uh, can't be helped. But there we go. If I do make any errors with the life points, do forgive me. Um, it's difficult to see what uh, complete plays are being made. Um, so he summons Vega. And he summons Alsa there. So Alsa is going to burn for another thousand. So this leaves the player on six thousand life points. Uh, and then he's going to attack with Castell, which is another two thousand. So that leaves him on four thousand. So he's gonna so he's gonna necro garden necro garden that. And 
he's going to overlay there. So there's some interesting, interesting plays there. So he's going for the, uh, the that's such a good card, that card, I really do like the card. It means that you can't, uh, if there's effect that activates, um, that targets one of one card on the field and only one card, you can change the uh, target of that card. So it's very, very useful. So Light Pulsar comes out now. <coughs> so he's activating the effect of Blaster there. Blaster comes out, the 2-8 beta that Blaster is, and Eclipse Wyvern as well. So Eclipse Wyvern, so oh, he's going to deprism the Blaster, that's a bit of an annoyance. So this is the annoying thing. So he takes Telnite like, takes fifty life points there. Um, there we are. Hopefully my life points are correct. <laughs> it's very difficult to keep up to track, though, especially when you're doing it on your own. It would be nice to have someone to co-host, but nevertheless, it is me here. So the clips wyvern and a light pulsar be interesting. So Alto comes onto the field. So Deneb comes out and Deneb is the Stratos for the deck. Being able to get a Stellar Knight from your hand, from your deck, sorry, to your hand. So there's a Castell out there. So there is a rank four play. And you must think what is the best rank four play for this duel? There are many different options that you can have. There's the 101 you can possibly do. Um, so he's just attacking over, uh, which is quite nice. So that's just 800 life points um, inflicted to the um, Light Swarm player. So that leaves him on 5 9. Um, and he's overlaying again. And there's the honor arc. The honor arc comes out there and takes the light pulsar, um, which we all thought might happen, to be honest, because it's the best play against a, um, a, a light pulsar dragon. So it looks like the light swan player is in a bit of a difficult situation here. So he's just thinking, so he's banishing to special summon, um, and he gets the effect of Eclipse Wyvern. So he's going to attack into the castell just to get rid of it. He's flicking your turn. So he's got a JD in hand. He's got no cards in the field. Um, and <clears throat> as you can see here, Star Knights are do have the upper hand. Um, and that is another 1,000 burn there um, to the Light Swarm player, um, which leaves him on 4,900. See, those um, those thousands take damage. And there you go. That is the end of the game. So Teller Knights take round one. So it was quite a quite a simple match to be honest on that one. There wasn't anything happening um, for the light swarm player that they could really do anything to be honest, um, because he was just he was just outclassed every time, um, and there is not much more that you can really do about that. So here we are with the game two, siding has entered. Um, siding has started now while I just take a drink. Doing, doing solo commentary is quite difficult if I must say so myself. Um, and <clears throat> it's just a difficult thing that is something that I was trying to think of when um, how, how to best come over this. Um, this event and it's unfortunately just very difficult you just need to go with the flow go with the punches and all that um, so we all just have to see how it goes so my OCD is kicking a little bit there the fact that they've moved the Brotherhood mat uh, which is quite irritating for me <laughs> um, but nevertheless that is what happens so Tell Knight player has finished siding now and they are now shuffling up for the next round so game two is coming up so really impressed with how many people we've hit today 153 is the total thank you Anthony <laughs> um, 153 is the total um, and it's just 
really amazing that we've hit that many people. Um, it's one of the biggest events that's happened in the UK. Um, if you, you know, with a non-officially Konami event, for example, so regionals don't don't obviously count. But it's one of the biggest from like a, you know, a, a third party, um, you know, just group of people to do. So really, really proud of it. Really happy. Um, and there's not much more that you can really say about that. So we just hope that the day does go well. Um, and it's just something that we need to keep on top of. Hopefully we can keep going well. So the Light Swan player is going first with a first turn Lila Mill, Raiden, and that's pretty nice mills. They are very nice mills, in fact. So as first turn goes, it's quite nice. And then the Rota comes out. So Rota is going to probably search Dinep. We shall see. Dinep is the ch possible choice there. He's going to check his hand. So we see a pot of duality there. That's the only thing I actually caught. Um, he has two names engraved, which is quite nice, with a necrogardener, but also with the red eyes, because the red eyes could come into play when he gets um, when he gets the light pulsar. Um, so we'll just have to see how that goes. So he hasn't gone for demo. That looks like Vega, I think. And um, it's it's going to make things quite interesting now to see how this goes. Um, yeah, I don't think that's Vega actually. I believe that's. Um, yeah, so there you go. So he's actually the foolish, that one. Um, so that is uh, Ntage, I think. So, so far, you, as you can see, if you don't know what Town Knights do, they're a brand new set out in the Duelist Alliance. Um, and they're really, really, really nice, um, I feel. So it's actually quite interesting he held on to the pot, pot of uh, duality there so he can make the special summon play because he does have the counter trap in his hand um, and the counter trap is quite devastating with the um, effect of when a spell or trap or monster effect is activated you can send one stone light monster you control to the graveyard and negate the activation and if you do draw one card um, but it doesn't look like he's going for that because he is exceeding so is he possibly going to go into Rhapsody again? I'll just have to wait and see. Rhapsody would be quite a nice play because you can just get rid of those two. Oh no, he's going for the Castell. So the Castell comes out and sends the Lila back into the deck. Which is quite um, quite a big thing. And he's attacked there for 1,000. But he uh, negated with the, with the Necrogarden attack. So, ah, very interesting. <coughs> so he is banishing those there. That's a very interesting tech there. Um, a very nice side card that you can use. So he's just checking his grave there. So he's got two names um, with the red eyes. Thinking of setting the honest. That's, oh, he's just passing. Okay, yeah. That makes sense to just pass because your hand is good enough, to be honest. But look how much overpowering this is happening here. This is pretty overpowering. Shoving the Nemp there into the grave. So Altair's gonna attack for 17. So a total of 3-7, that's probably gonna happen now. And Rhapsody's gonna come out as well. So drawing the Lila is an interesting um, interesting draw because he can hit any of the back row um, or he's just possibly going to attack. So he's targeting the Altair there with the call all wanted on the attack declaration because he's going to use Honest by the looks of it. Ah, oh, you see now that is very interesting. It's very, very interesting. Because now he's honest, it's like said, the attack still goes through. So honest, and then the counter trap is activated, tributing, which you can do. 
So that dies and takes another 300, so it's down to 4,000 in total. Oops, I just edited the incorrect score. So apologies for that, it did look a little bit messy there. Um, but it's something that you just gotta deal with. <laughs> so Stone Knight's in a very, very strong position and he unfortunately does have a bit of a brick hand. Um, so can take another 1-7. And that is game, unfortunately. So Talonites there take the game um, with a pretty much flawless victory, if you don't mind me saying. Um, and there is nothing that anyone can do about that. So that is round one. Uh, Talonites take that.